Hey y'all, it's Miss Katie. Welcome to Heritage Homestead Journey and we have ants in our pants. Okay y'all, well so far we haven't found ants in our clothes, so that was not exactly true. But I'm going to let little Miss Homemaker tell you what happened to her yesterday and we thought it was a freak one time isolated situation. But we should have gotten a video a while ago of when we woke up this morning. Last night I was going to be so prepared for breakfast today because today's moving day. So I made two batches of my banana chocolate chip muffins that are in my cookbook from Katie's Kitchen that you can you can purchase if you'd like. And I we put them on here and covered it with foil. We had it mounded over with muffins. And when we woke up this morning, Little Miss Homemaker noticed that the foil was covered with ants so thankfully uh the the muffins could be saved because that was a lot of ingredients we're trying to be frugal and all of that that's irritating and we don't know where they're coming from we don't know we haven't had them till we got to florida i don't know what the deal is so right now i'm trying to pack up this junky pantry trying to get ready to go and i just saw ants crawling around saw ants crawling around on these clean paper towels in here and this is where the cups go now you might say of course open food and all you might say well open food and all that yes but um i mean nothing really has changed in our pantry and our habits until we got here to florida so i don't know this easter candy is the only thing that has changed as far as our habits and what we keep in here and that kind of thing. But it's sealed. Oh, this is frustrating and annoying. Okay, so yesterday um, I got into my treasure box. Well, it's actually a drawer. Um, and I found a bunch of ants in my drawer. So I had to clean that out. Um, yes. Is that like having ants in your pants if you have ants in your drawers? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> that I had to clean that out. Then I put everything back, checking it, and I um, put the drawer back. And like five minutes later, I opened the drawer and there were ants in there. So I, I, don't know. I, I had don't to know. check that again. I had to kill some. I had to kill some ants on the stairway. Yeah, ants. We got ants. Ants, help us! We need some uncles to come carry them away. You see it? It's a baby on the door. How do you I know it's a baby? Because it's small. But I don't have my glasses on. Is that what it is? Yes, that's an armadillo. It's all striped. I don't even have my glasses on. Yes. Can't it's, see. It's all striped. It's right by the tree. Okay, I'm going closer. Where's my careful. phone? Don't be careful. Is that what you said? Okay, well, if it attacks me, um, you can perform time. CPR. Oh, you'll run until dad? I keep losing my. Oh, there it is. I don't know, it's but. Like eight all I know is. I don't know if it's a baby. It might be a non baby. Don't think it's a baby. That's the first, okay, I don't even have my glasses on. I'm gonna have to go back and watch my own. Oh, good grief, I lost the picture. Where is it? It's right there. Okay. <laughs> it's coming over here. That's not a baby, I can't, no, that's not. I read in a book that baby armadillos don't have more than, uh, I think it was four stripes. That one has Well, I'm not getting close enough to see, because. And there's like a lot on its tail. That's not, but that, that's the first close up one we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Look at it run. <laughs> Armadillos and. Okay, I... Oh, okay, here it comes. Okay, okay. well, no, thank you. I can't, I can't see to even video. <laughs> well, make sure it doesn't attack you. Mm. Want me to video? I can see. Okay, so more on the ant problem I don't know if you can see them but we came in here a little while ago and this is the end of the day from what we filmed a, a, you just saw and we've already moved and cleaned up 
we use cleaner setup. We haven't had food in here. And Daddy did notice some food right here. So he cleaned that up. Uh, then we went to the shower. Every ant was gone. We came back and they're back again. We went to the bathhouse, all took showers. We came back and here they are again. So we've got to figure out what we're doing. So what are we doing about the ant problem? It's Saturday night. Nothing tonight. Well, I just mean, okay, so we're just going to leave them. And then what are you going to do tomorrow? Go get ant traps. I, okay. I have a question. How did, even did the ants get in here? We don't know that, or we would have gotten rid of the source. And if the ants came in, we would see them, right? Well, I don't well, know about there's, that. There's all kind of holes where they could get in. I mean, it's just the way RVs are. Okay, well, it's annoying because oh, there's been no food yeah. sitting out today, and they just keep coming back. We need to find the source of the problem rather than just trying to trap them, but I don't know. We're going to bed. Wait, Say good night. Good night. Wait, how do you how do you get ant traps? The ants are too small to fit through any holes. Hey, you're the one who likes to trap things. Maybe you should come up with an ant trap. Well, all we need is something like we have to like this, we have to tape it so far down ants can't squeeze them. Okay. And we need something to like we like need Food for the ants to go in. Yeah, well. Yeah, but we don't want food. We don't want to attract <laughs> anymore. Wait. All right. Catch twenty. Well, remember the rat traps, the sticky traps. Yes. The ants could get stuck in those, right? All right, maybe so. But for now, we're going to bed. So, are you going to sleep out in the tent with your brother and sister, or are you going to sleep in here with us? If I sleep in your room. No, you're not sleeping in our room. You would have to sleep in the bed by yourself, which you don't like to do, so I would suggest you sleep in the tent outside with them. But okay? I can't go to sleep on this one. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You'll be fine. You can do this, okay? All right. You can take your baby out there. Okay. Do you need... So we've got ants everywhere. We haven't had ants until we got to Florida and then all of a sudden we started having ants everywhere. We can't figure out where they're coming from. I don't know that there's a way to stop them being in an RV. So I went to the store and I got these ant bait traps. It's not really what I was wanting. I was wanting something that the ants would go in and not come out. But all they had was things that the ants go in and they eat on this poison stuff. They go out and kill everybody else in in their little <laughs> world. I didn't want them going in and coming out. I wanted them going in and staying in. But this is all they have, so we're going to give these a whirl and see what happens. So there's four of them in here, and we're going to place one in the downstairs kitchen. We're going to place one in one of the rooms where we saw ants and place a couple in the kitchen. And hopefully that will take care of the problem. <laughs> 